Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am the mommy. Welcome. This is your first time welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Um, happy Sunday, happy Palm Sunday today. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I almost did not make this video. This is, you know, the, not gonna be a long video. Um, and I'm only doing the devotional. As you can see, I have Miss Mabel with me today. Um, she, of course, is the baby that went to church. And she is the baby that I have sitting with me today. Um, it's kind of late. I didn't even think I was going to be doing a video. But um, we decided that we would. Um, because we actually have the internet back. Um, we lost our cable and internet. We lost it. Yeah, remember I said yesterday in my video. If you haven't seen my video, I'll tell you what I said. We were expecting high winds. Um, severe thunderstorms and high winds. We got a severe thunderstorm, then we got high winds. As a matter of fact, our neighbor across the street, the tree fell, clipped his porch roof a little bit, um, a tree fell on his property. So he's gonna get that assessed by his own owners, I think tomorrow. Um, but anyway, so then about a little before 10 last night, I was, we were sitting here watching TV and it just went off. Um, not the TV itself, but the picture. Then I looked down at my phone and the, the little Wi-Fi icon was not there. We went into our room and we looked at the Wi-Fi box. It was blinking. So we didn't have any Wi-Fi. We thought, okay, by morning they'll have it up and running. Because I called. And of course, tech support can't help you with anything when there's an outage. And of course, they won't even talk to you. When there's an outage in your area, they won't even talk to you. But this morning, we still didn't have it. So I finally, I just went online to check a status update. Nothing. So I eventually called after church. I called because I've got... We have accessibility on the account so that I can talk to the accessibility department if I have to so I don't start keep looking at stuff and keep pressing buttons and stuff like that. So I do that. And um, I went into the, I, I asked the accessibility guy, give me a status update, please. And he couldn't. So I resigned myself to the fact that, okay, it's an ongoing outage, which means we could be out for days, which means... If I'm going to upload videos, they're going to have to be done at chick fil -A because the McDonald's close to us wouldn't have had Wi-Fi either. Just to tell you, they wouldn't have had any internet, but chick fil -A would because it's further down. Um, so, anyway, to make a very long story short, it is a miracle because we have Wi-Fi. We came home to a working TV and working Wi-Fi. Um, so, it is a miracle. So, praise God. Thank you, God. I had actually told him if he wanted me to get the devotional video in today, because that's all I was doing today was the devotional video. He was like, I was like, you got to get the internet right up from running. Sorry, Lord, but I need the internet. But he knows what we need before we even know what we need. And he makes provisions for it. So he did. But in church this morning, we got these, these palm leaves. And as we were waving them like this, I'm going to tell you, as Jesus passed by on the colt, this is what they were doing. But we're going to talk about what they were saying while they were doing this. Just a little talk about that. Hosanna. I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read it to you guys. I'm going to read you the verses out of Mark 11. Now, our pastor didn't touch on this this morning. It was just... Um, the sermon wasn't on this, so it was okay. Um, it was on the two stories that came along with this. The two things that Jesus did after this. And they that went before and they that followed cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, by the way, it's Mark 11, 9 through 9 and 10. So it's Mark 11, 9 and 10. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. 
And this is the part I want you guys to get. Hosanna in the highest. They were waving their palm leaves up and down saying Hosanna in the highest. I'm going to read that again. Mark 11, 9, and 10. And they went before, and they, they that followed cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now, have we ever wondered what they were actually saying when they were waving their palm leaves and saying Hosanna in the highest? You know, we were waving our palm leaves while we were singing and we were praising the Lord. And that's partly what Hosanna is. It's, it's a praise term. But what does it mean? So we're going to explain what Hosanna means. You know, I've always wondered that too. So I looked it up. And I got the definition right here. But they wave their palm leaves. Now if we wave them like this, we were waving them like this, this is how they waved them. Because as he was passing on the donkey, on the colt, they were doing this. Actually, Jeremiah is laying down, but he thought that this was a toy. He had this as a toy. But the palm leaf went like this. Can you imagine? Just imagine for a minute. Close your eyes and imagine that you're there when Jesus is on the donkey, on the colt. And you've got a palm leaf in your hand and you're doing this. Just imagine. And you're crying, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. He heard that up and down the street. Now they were praising him. And just a few short days later, they would be yelling for him to die. They would be yelling at him, crucify him. But what were they yelling when they were yelling Hosanna in the highest? The true meaning of Hosanna is, pray, save us. It's a form of biblical Hebrew phrase meaning, pray, save us. Hosanna in the highest. That's what it means. Hosanna in the highest means pray, save us. The very people that were saying that to Jesus, just a few short days later. You see, that was just a prophetic thing because they were they were going like this. Hosanna in the highest. And then the following Friday. They would crucify him. You know, I just, I know I'm holding the palm leaf off, guys. I'm kind of like covering myself with it because I'm kind of still thinking about this one. The very people who would be crying Hosanna in the highest. Pray save us, by the way. They would be praying, they would saying, they were calling him their savior, basically. Then a few short days later, and Jesus knew it when he was riding it on that colt, and they were they were doing this. He knew that he was going to die very soon, like that very week. Pray, save us. He knew. Hosanna in the highest. You know, we were singing Hosanna in the highest. We also sing a song that I actually have in a CD in the car. 
I actually brought it in just in case we didn't have cable or internet. Um, in case we didn't couldn't do anything really in the house. I brought the CD in. And I have tons of CDs in the house, but I brought this one in. One of the songs on there we sang in church this morning. And it goes, I praise him for he gave everything. Jesus knew when he rode in to Jerusalem on that cold, on that Sunday. Just close your eyes and imagine being there. But can you imagine? Now I want us to imagine how Jesus must have felt. He felt nothing but love. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Pray, save us. That's what Hosanna means. That's what they were saying. Hosanna in the highest. Pray, save us. I know this was a Palm Sunday video. It was supposed to be a very different devotional today, guys. But I decided to do a Palm Sunday video. I don't know why. Um... Probably because I thought I wasn't going to get to do one at all today. Um, Hosanna in the highest. The angels. When Jesus was born, on the night Jesus was born, they appeared to shepherds. What did they say? Glory to God in the highest. He said, glory to God in the highest. And then, just days before he would die on the cross, people were waving palm leaves, going, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Pray, save us. Today we need to reflect on that. Today we should reflect on the fact that he is Hosanna. I don't know why I'm doing this video like this today. Um, I just feel like it needs to be done. Because we don't know how many more Palm Sundays we have here on earth. Um, we were talking about this at church, after church actually. Karen and I were talking about this after church. The way the weather's been. I mean, just everything. Start looking up. And may I in him be found. May I be found calling him Hosanna. Pray save us. Kind of like what we were asking for today. You know, the weather, the, just everything going on in the world. And then we take a deep breath. And on a Sunday morning, put everything aside, go into church and sing Hosanna. And wave palm leaves like they did on that street over 2,000 years ago. And when we were singing with our hands in the air. With, oh, we had our palm leaves going like this. With our hands in the air. But they were going like this. We were worshiping. But we were also... See, we use it as a term of worship. Hosanna in the highest. Which it is. But it is also... It's pray save us. We basically are asking God, we're asking God to save us. Have we really ever stopped to think about that part? You know, we go to church, we wave the palm leaves, we know it's the week before. Sorry, Miss Mabel, you're going to sit here with Mama. We know it's the week before Easter. Palm Sunday is always the week before Easter. 
always the week before he is risen. Always a couple days before the day. You see, he answered Hosanna in the highest. And they say, Hosanna in the highest. He answered by spreading out his arms and dying on the cross to save us. He was perfect. He was without sin. It was perfect. But he would go to the cross anyway. See, we took communion today too, just to tell you. But the main thing was it was Palm Sunday. And that's what I wanted to concentrate on. So I want to concentrate on what we think in here. Do we cry Hosanna in our hearts? See, you don't need a palm leaf to cry Hosanna. But when we're crying Hosanna, what are we crying? Pray, save us, Lord. So, today, being Palm Sunday, I would ask, this question when you're crying Hosanna are you truly crying pray save us or are you just going through the motions see some people they just go through the motions and wave their palm leaves but those people on that street have you just stop and think about that how many were going through the motions just to be part of the crowd and how many were there because they truly wanted to worship Jesus how many of us this morning were in church doing this, truly worshiping Jesus? It's Hosanna in the highest. You know, I'm thinking there's a song on that CD. Honey, go get me that CD quick. There's a song on this CD, and I don't know if the words are in it that I can read it to you. But if not, I will Google it. I will Google it quick. I'm going to read to you. I don't know if the words are in here or not for the for those songs. I know, guys. I don't know if the words are in here or not. Let me see. Okay, here it is. It goes like this, guys. These are the words to the song. It's called Hosanna. It goes, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift your name. Lord, we lift up your name. Sorry, guys. I'm not, like really familiar with the song. With hearts full of praise, or I haven't heard it for a long time. Be exalted, O Lord my God. Hosanna in the highest. Glory, glory. Glory to the King of Kings. Glory, glory. Glory to the King of Kings. Lord, we lift up your name with hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord my God. Glory to the King of Kings. That's, honey, you won't put that back. That's the song. I'm really not that familiar with it. I'll have to get that familiar with it. And then I can sing it for you. Like, oh, everybody's saying, oh, no. She wants to sing, oh, no. I, I, I can sing decently. I just don't do it that often. Because I'm so busy around here singing to that one. The way he likes to be sang to. But anyway, that is what we say when we're singing Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. We're saying, pray, save us. Pray, save us. We're asking God to come save us. And, but we're giving him glory as well. It's a worship term. That's what they were doing. They were waving their palm leaves. Have we wondered what they were actually doing? Because I have. I've wondered, you know, why would they do this 
and worship you. Because if you think about it, I've always thought this is the symbolic of us bowing before Christ. Because one day we are going to bow down. And everybody's going to bow down. We're all going to bow down. We're going to profess him as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. No matter who you are, no matter whether you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior or you didn't believe in God at all, you are going to have to bow down one day. The Bible says we're going to bow down. We're going to worship him. But the true treasure is for those of us who worshiped him here on earth. That's going to remain the true reward. Pray, save us. Jesus, pray, save us. Jesus, save us is basically what they were saying. Little did they know, but Jesus knew that he was going riding in on that colt. When he was riding in on that colt, and they were waving their palm leaves. That he was about to die on a cross. And Jesus knew it. He knew he was about to die. Be crucified. Die a brutal death. Riding in on that colt. Jesus knew. That he was about to die on a cross. But that the following week, seven days after they did that, they thought they had him dead. That stone is rolled away. He comes out victorious. Next Sunday, we're going to sing, Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Today, we sang Hosanna. Pray, save us. Next week, it's going to be Christ the Lord is risen. He saved us, guys. That's what he did on that cross. I could probably go on and on all day long about this. Because, I mean, it's just... Hosanna. It's true worship. You know, it is true worship. You know, we call worship... We call anything worship now. You go to church, you're worshiping. You know, you sing a song, no matter what the song is, you're worshiping. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Not every song we sing in church is worship. I mean, we're there to praise, but a true worship is... Hosanna. Glory to God. You know, and we don't have to be singing it. We can just say it. Like they did. See, they worshipped. And when they did this, I'm telling you, it was symbolic. We were actually talking about symbolic gestures after church. Things that are symbolic. Like the cross in front of the church. Is symbolic. This is symbolic. But what is it symbolic of? And that got me thinking, actually. What is it symbolic of? Us bowing down. Us bowing down and worshiping him. Calling him Lord of Lords and King of Kings. <clears throat> I mean, in heaven, we won't be saying Hosanna. Because... We've already saved, he's already saved us. We're there. So, Hosanna in the highest. Today, I want us to focus on Hosanna in the highest. You know, just close your eyes and imagine you're there. As Jesus is riding that colt through the streets of Jerusalem. Because just a couple days later, 
he was going to walk another street in Jerusalem called the Via Della Rosa. The Via Della Rosa was the long road to Calvary where he carried a cross. He had a cross he, I don't think he carried the cross. I'll read it. I'll get more clarity on that one. They all say he carried the cross, but he bore the cross for our iniquities. I know that story. I'm just all confused right now. I'm tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. But I did sing Hosanna. Pray save us. So Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus, Hosanna in the highest. As you walk past, Hosanna in the highest. As you are here, Hosanna in the highest. So anyway, that is my Bible lesson today. Hosanna. What does it mean? I hope you guys enjoyed my Bible lesson today. Um, I did not want to make this video go, oh my goodness, as long as it does, but it did, um, because, well, you know, I've had a pretty busy day today, guys, um, as I could, as I told you, um, but just like I said, we went over to the mall. I don't know if I said this or not, but we went over to the mall just to waste time because we wouldn't have had TV or internet, so we had nothing to do. And just like I said, I walked a little bit, which was nice. It was nice to walk. But I did want to get home, get this in, and get some rest. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off of here so I can go get my shower and relax, have dinner. I don't know what we're having. We have all kinds of stuff in there. But I don't know what we're having tonight. Um... And I got to get Miss Mabel ready for bed. And she's going to stay out here with Mama, I think, and Daddy and Jeremiah for a little while today. Anyway, I'm going to get her bouncer and do that while this is uploading. And I am so thankful to God. It's a miracle. We have our internet back. There were trees and vines and poles down everywhere around here because of the wind. Um... Just to tell you, that's why it was up. It was the, the wind has died down significantly. Um, it was pretty bad. It sounded like a freight train at times going through here last night. We have train tracks over that way. But it sounded like a freight train. So, this morning, or today, sometime today, Ponder this. Hosanna in the highest. What are you actually saying? Pray, save us. And what did he do? What did he do? After they said Hosanna in the highest, what did he do? He saved us died on a cross and anyone who comes to him no matter who you are you can come to Jesus you can come to Hosanna and he will save you that's who he is he's not just Hosanna tomorrow we have another attribute of God we're going to do in the devotional one that We don't really think it's an attribute all the time. But today, let's concentrate on Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. So anyway, I am going to end this video. I encourage you to concentrate on Hosanna. And I wish you a very happy Palm Sunday. And I wish you a very blessed su Palm Sunday. And 
I pray that you all will ponder and will say Hosanna to Jesus. Just pray, save us. That's what they did. But how many people actually believed it in their hearts? Because not very many days later, they'd be following him to Pontius Pilate and they would be saying, crucify him. The very people that cried Hosanna, pray save us, would a couple of days later say, crucify him. Wow. When we cry Hosanna, let's cry Hosanna and not Go put him back on that cross because he's not going to back, go back on that cross. Not going back on the cross. He died. He rose again. And he is in heaven with his father at his right hand. So anyway. And he is still Santa. He is our savior. That's actually what I think of now after seeing that. After that, I think of how he's our savior. So, Hosanna in the highest. Go, Hosanna in the highest. I just imagine being there. I know I have the palm leaf, but your church might not have done the palm leaf this morning. Ours did. So, actually, I was told this is the first time they've done the palm leaf, they've not done the symbol. But this is a symbol. Because one day, and the way that they did it is a symbol. Have we really thought about the way that they did it? They did it this way, not this way. This way. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. What were the palm leaves doing? So, just a little tidbit there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Um, I hope anyway. Um, if you did, please, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be doing a 150 subscriber giveaway since I have 166, I know. Um, I've got to get the video made. I have everything around. I just have to get it made. I think I'm just going to give away a bunch of clothes, guys. Um, a bunch of baby clothes. Then at 200 subscribers, I have something very special to give away. Um, I'm hiding them for now. I'm hiding them. But um, anyway, I will do the 200 subscriber giveaway at 200 subscribers. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to do the giveaway video for that early. Um... That way you all can see what we're getting, what you're getting. And then, um, so anyway, I'm going to try to get that video in, the 150 subscriber giveaway, in this week. Maybe tomorrow. Um, we'll see how my day goes. I can't make any promises. We'll see how my day goes. Um, tomorrow is whatever I want by D at the baby patch. And I'm going to do whatever I want <laughs> tomorrow. As a matter of fact, you guys are going to help me do something tomorrow. Um, guys are going shopping with me tomorrow, but not in the store. In, I got to find what I have for Miss Mabel and what I have for Miss Mariah and what I have for Miss Hannah. Um, so we're going to do one of them at a time. You're going to go shopping for Mabel and Mariah tomorrow with me in my clothes box in my summer and spring and fall and whatever, you know, seasons clothes box that I have the storage box that I have them stored in. You're going to come shopping with me and you're going to see what I have for them and what I don't have. And then I've got to get what I don't have. I don't think I have a lot of short sleeved stuff for this one. Matter of fact, I know I don't. Unless I have some three month stuff for Mariah because Mariah is, I had her in three months, but she was tight in three months. This one fits in three months. So, we'll see. I might be changing up clothes a little bit just to give Miss Mabel here some clothes to wear. Um, but anyway, 
Oh, my little Miss Mabel. She's tired, guys. Mama's got to go get her changed in her pajamas so she can take a little nap before dinner. Um, but I encourage you, close your eyes today and ponder. Because when you're worshiping in church and you're waving the palm leaves, you really don't think because you're worshiping. But go back and imagine being there as Jesus was riding on the coal. And bringing the palm leaves up and down. So anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And I hope you guys like this video. I know it wasn't my normal video. Um, but it's a Sunday. And it's Palm Sunday. And I thought, why not just do a Bible lesson today? So that's what I did. So, I just pray that you are all well. And that you all stay safe. And that you are all blessed. And I will see you all tomorrow. Because now I know I will. Because as long as my internet's working. If not, I will still see you tomorrow. Because what I will do is pre-record. And then I will take it. I will record here at home. Then I will take it to Chick-fil-A if I have to. And upload it. That's what I will do. But I'm hoping I can just upload it here at home. So I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And I will see you all tomorrow. And stay safe, guys, especially with all the weather craziness out there. You know, we were talking about this at church after church. And, you know, let's keep our eye to the sky. Because as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the trumpet could resound and we could be going home. So we could be worshiping at his feet. They worship with palm leaves on a street. We could be worshiping at his feet. Very shortly. We don't know that. No man knows the time or the day. But God the Father himself. But we should still keep our eye to the sky. We were talking about that. Karen and I were talking about that today, as a matter of fact. So, And I agree. We should keep our eye to the sky. Hosanna in the highest. Pray save us. In other words, come and save us, Lord. He's already saved us. Now come and save us from the world. From the craziness. And he will go one day. He will. He will come with a trumpet. With the sound of a trumpet. And we will go home. So, I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And I'm sorry this video is so long. I did not intend to make a video at all today because of the internet. But we got internet now, so I made a video. So, I know I'm very long-winded. So, I'm going to cut it off here. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening to me ramble on about Hosanna. I've always wondered about that. What are they actually saying when they say Hosanna? Because it was those very people who followed him to Pontius Pilate days later. And you have to crucify him. Little did they know that when they were yelling, when they were yelling Hosanna in the highest, that days later, he would do the exact same thing that they were asking. That they were saying, pray save us. He would go to the cross and he would save us. Hosanna in the highest. That's actually what the lesson was about, just to tell you. I went off on all kinds of rabbit potatoes like I always do. I'm sorry. Um, but I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful night. And I will see you tomorrow. And... I got a busy week planned, so I hope you all can be here for it. And thank you for stopping by the Ark today on this gorgeous Palm Sunday. Bye.